Wow, this is super loud, like no reason. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, how's it going? It's going amazing. This loud motorcycle on here. I'm like, he just loud. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, setting it up. I was on the phone getting somebody doing an interview, so I was kind of playing a little, a little over on time. I know, it's all good. It's all good. I'm excited. Yeah, um, I, it might be a little dark in here too. A little bit. Let me see if I can turn this light on. Let's see. All right, all right. Okay, so I guess how we'll do it in really quick. Can you give me like a little synopsis, like a little uh, bio of you? Yeah. I yeah, um, so I'm a mom. I'm from, uh, I have a six year old daughter. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I love motivating people. I just have, like have that heart to just inspire people. Like that's just a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, um, of course, I'm in, into the investing, uh, investing world. You know, I feel like people should really um, you know, focus on their, their, their drive and their mission and their purpose. I'm big on that. Like, you know what I mean? Like okay. just really going after what it is that you want and never settling for less. Um, and I guess that really kind of goes into like the motivation thing too, but, um, energy, I, I love energy. You know what I mean? Just to be excited about life. Like I really have a bad day cause I just like to pick myself up and keep going. So that's just, you know, some, a few things about me. Okay. Okay. I can, I can wrap that up. Okay, cool. So basically really quick. So I'll, I'll, in, I'll do that, bring you on, and I'll say, hey, you want to share a little bit about yourself? Well, I don't know. Wait, hold on. I'll bring you on. That is sharing something about yourself. And I'll say, hey, we got the first question, and I'll ask you the question. And then after you're done, you can just say, well, well, let me ask you, Isis, Well, how do you feel about that? You get what I'm saying? And we'll feed like that. How does that sound? Okay, so like after, do you see this message that's coming in on my phone? I can't see yet because when I switch stream screen, I didn't go go live yet. But when I hit go live, we're gonna be live. Okay, so I I hope that don't come in. Okay, but um, yeah. So after you ask, so after each question you ask me, just kind of like, what do you think about that after each one, or how do you feel? Or I could just pause after I'm done, and you could pick up or. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll wait for a long pause because sometimes I'm doing this new thing where I. I let people get their word out, but okay. Okay, I'll 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 say something to trigger you to say something like you know I'll say something like you know and that's really it you know what I mean I'll okay. say something like that to let you feel like okay it's, yeah because I be having a problem too with that like oh I cut them off or dang you know what I mean they probably you know wanted to say something else but yeah I'll give you the cue I'll give you the cue. <laughs> all, right, all right, love. I'm gonna go ahead and run the show then. All right. Let me uh. How to. Baby, I didn't hold on the total. The title didn't messed up. How to become? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, it was a little feedback. Okay, how to become? <laughs> Baby, let me tell you this internet today. How to? <laughs> My internet always crazy. Always. Yeah. I feel like today. Yesterday was a day of um, like. Testing your patience, testing like to see like if your patience was really how it was. Mm, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, I see you testing me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think I got to spell right, baby. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead. I just need you to copy the title. Okay. Oh my gosh, girl. I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay. The title disappeared again. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna pay how to become unstoppable. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, okay. So so you're not introducing me, I'm introducing myself. No, I'm introducing you. I'm gonna uh, edify you. Okay, got you. Yeah. Oh man, it 
Did it again? Yeah. No, it um I gotta redo it. I guess I took too long. Uh tell me some things about you because I want to edify you right back too. Okay, cool. So I am an army veteran. I've been doing this for about three hundred I mean those say three hundred years. <laughs> for uh I've been doing this for uh close to three years, mentoring over a hundred and twenty-five people. Um I'm into real estate as well. Okay. You know, whatever, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. My bad. It, it it now it like did something else crazy too. I think I we we while we was talking it took a little longer. Okay. <laughs> it always happens like every time I try to be on time. Oh man. Okay. How to become un s t o p a l e b wait how you spell is it, is it two p's at, uh uh yes two p's yes two p's okay all right now hopefully come on apple don't act like that i guess i'm just, i'm gonna type it twice because i'm not gonna play around you got to put the title in two places so i was okay. really lazy and not like just trying to copy paste it but now <laughs> we're live let me see yeah all right, let's see. Hello, 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 everyone. Peace and greetings, peace and greetings. I am so enthusiastic today to be sharing this live space with my special guest that I'm about to bring on in just a second. But today we're going to be talking about a very great topic. And that topic is how to become unstoppable winning against like aver uh, uh, adversary and what is adversary like distractions peoples and things trying to take you off your goals so if you're just tuning in i want you guys to go ahead hit the share button because somebody needs to hear this information uh make sure to drop down the city and state where you're from and i'm going to bring on my special guest i have miss pam here beautiful mother of a six-year-old daughter beautiful daughter as well um she is very much so creating uh, generational wealth and leaving a legacy for her daughter because she is in the uh, financial scene learning about investments learning how to grow her money learning how to get her credit together all the things that us women and men should be doing for our families now this lady right here when I tell you fire her name should be by the picture and uh in, in in the definition of the word fire her energy is so contagious and that's a gift that she has from god because that energy allows her to penetrate others and motivate them to be their best selves so i knew bringing miss pam on here today to talk about this subject was really really going to help and inspire you guys miss pam are you ready for a couple questions that came from our, our panel Yes. Hey, how are you doing today? Yes, feeling amazing. How are you feeling today, by the way? I'm feeling like 10K a month. I'm feeling powerful and refreshed. I am so excited. And I got to give it right back to you. Like, you are amazing. Like, your energy is fire. And um, you're just inspiring so many people all over the world. And I know you wear many hats. You're in the Army. You were, uh, you're into real estate and just helping over 125 people. That's insane. Like, I admire your drive. And I'm super excited to be on here today. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for that love. Because I do think sometimes when you're in that leadership role, which is the, 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 the lowest title, you're just so being servant that you don't sometimes sit back and be like, okay, well, dang, I am doing this for people. So thank you so much for that edification. <laughs> so let's dive in it. So um, the first question is, why do people allow others to stop their dreams with their opinions? Ooh, that Ooh. <laughs> that whole that 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 part this this the part <laughs> I, I, think, I think i think parts of them don't believe in themselves okay. i know that i know that for me that was kind of the case for me as well like not believing in myself or also too this was something else i had going on i didn't want to feel like i was outshining you know somebody i was dimming mm -hmm. my light a little bit you know okay. what i mean okay. and so like 
for example, like I had a friend, like we were friends since kindergarten. I ain't about to share my age, but you know, <laughs> we were friends since we were like in kindergarten. And okay. as I began to explore higher, you know what I mean? As I, as I began to vibrate higher, I didn't feel like she was feeling it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I gotta, I gotta dissociate. I gotta, I gotta get away from that. Right. And I feel like just, just people having low energy and then you just not having a confidence that you need to be able to really just wrap your mind around it and say, you know what, I got this. I don't care what's going on. We got to have a confidence to go out there and go kill it and go get it, no matter what anybody says about it, no matter how they feel about it, because this is your life. You know what I mean? We only got one life to live. And if you're going to allow other people to dictate your future, why? <laughs> why like i feel like you don't care about yourself if you allow other people to dictate how you do you know what i'm saying how you go live so that's my response to that <laughs> wow wow something that you said was very powerful you said you know if that's your dream and that's your your goal why would you let somebody stop it because dreams and goals come from the heart it comes it's your heart's desire and when right. it's coming from the heart is knowing that that's your purpose everybody's like well i don't really know my purpose but sometimes you do but that 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 those those people's opinions and things since you've been like from your childhood and and so on it's been you know shine it hasn't had no shine to it because those people you've been letting those people's opinions get to you and you know, I, I want to bring it up in the in the sense of couples because I run across this a lot, and maybe you do, Pam, especially in the uh, industry that we're in. But I'll meet couples where there will be a wife that's super excited about learning how to trade forex, ready, yeah, seeing the vision. Like I'm talking about, like she just lit, 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 laying out how she's gonna knock her goals out, and then she says, you know, I gotta go talk to my husband about it. And then she goes to talk to her husband about it. And then when you talk to her, it's like the same sister that you seen that was ready to stand, you know, in her power, stand her true definition, really like set up a legacy for her family. It just goes away by her, her partner. Right. And yes. so it, it just, it always just, it always baffles me a little bit because it's like, it makes you think. And I think that's actually one of the questions, another question. So I probably don't want to go too deep. Let me see. Okay, cool. It's going to go into the next one. So I'll ask you this and I'll yeah. pick it back up. So let me ask you this. So judging off of and feeding off of what I just said to go with question number one, like, should you let your loved one stop you? No, I, I feel like absolutely not. I feel like we all, at least most of us or whoever's trying to create that generational wealth, you, you can't have no, no people in your ear that's not trying to go get it. You can't have the no getters. You know what I mean? No getters, leave them alone. You know what I mean? Family or not, you're trying to create a legacy. You're trying to build generational wealth, right? Yeah. You can't have people that's not on that same page. I don't care who they are. You know what I mean? You got to, sometimes you just got to separate yourself. And not to say that you going to just leave your family or anything like that, but it's a certain block of time that you just got to straight up focus. You can't be listening to people that's not on the page that you're not, you know, that you're trying to get to. Your day ones, sometimes not going to be there. You're going to have to get them day twos that's going to mm. step in. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to really be ride or die with you. Like, I don't care who it is. Like, it's a, it's a few of my family members, members, a few of my friends that I had to let go of because you got to literally be unstoppable. It's literally you and it's you. It don't matter what anybody has to say. Like, you got to have that tunnel vision and know that you got a place to be. Keep that end goal in mind from the very beginning, family or not. Like, it's right. It's time to go get it. We in 2020. It's too much going on right now for you to be letting people stop you and hinder you from your success. Do you want it or no? Like, period. Like, don't listen. Tunnel vision or not. That like you go all out. It's not the time to be hindered by somebody that don't want to see you win. That's just it. Like I don't care who you are. I'm moving. I'm gonna move. I got a daughter. Like you said, I got a six year old daughter. And my my goal is to reach financial freedom. I am leaving my job in seventy days. And I don't oh. care who you are. You in my way. You are gonna get ran over. I will go through you, under you, over you, whatever. You better get. Yeah. <laughs> So listen, y'all, I got to get back to the point. I'm your I'm so tired. Don't, don't let your family stop you. In your heart, when you know that you got something, you know that your creator, God, whoever you believe in, has given you something. We all have a gift. Follow mm. that. Live in that. And keep it moving. Okay? Straight up.
Period, poo. Period. <laughs> wow. Before I get to go on, I need y'all to drop some 11 11s in the chat bar in that one. If you felt that one right there, she had to put I'm some hand sanitizer on after that one. I had to. Get the germs off. Yes, yes. Wow. Woo. I'm trying to even see what was so many points. You said you're going to run through them, climb over them, jump, hop, whatever you got to do, but you're going through. And I feel like what you, that, that statement alone needs to be like some type of affirmation because it's so true. I think sometimes we get caught up on the love. Right, and it's not to say you can love a person sometimes by leaving them alone. Sometimes that's the best way to love someone. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, am I saying leave the partner that you're with? Uh, not entirely. But what I will say is, you need to reevaluate that situation because if you're in a relationship where you want to gr grow and you want to build, and you talk about legacy building, and you got a partner that's not equally yoked, we know what that causes. That causes that chaos, that nagging, that confusion. Yeah. Is keeping you in a stagnant place. You're not expanding. And so that's why I'm like, well, look, I'm going to be single for a while until I meet that person. And, and we got another topic for the ladies in about two weeks. It's going to hit hard on them policies because there's certain stuff that had got to be in place. So, yes. <laughs> so okay, I can't wait. <laughs> that's going to be juicy. <laughs> so needless to say, don't let your like love and your feelings get in the way to the point where you're like, well, this is my mom or this is this person, this is that person. This is your life. And like Pam said, ain't nobody stopping you but you. Sometimes we like to blame outside forces. Well, it's the devil. No, it's you. Oh, it's the enemy. The enemy is in me. The enemy, right? So right. it's us. We're the devil. We're the angel. We're both. We're all. We're whole. So, I mean, I could just go on, Pam. Like, that one got me fired. Oh, no, no, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That, that one got me fired up. But I got something else for you because these are some okay. questions that was flowing through. So how can you still follow your dreams? But, and I think we kind of touched on it, but be in harmony with the ones that you love. Okay. Okay. So like you like your family and whatnot. So like you they I what I had to do was this. I had to let them know, like, hey, listen, I I'm I'm starting to uh I got into this investing because I'm into investing you all and um you know I, I got into this thing, you guys. And right now I got tunnel vision, like I said before. I might miss a few birthdays, I might miss a few holidays to be, you know, focused on my vision and my goals. You know, I got a lot of things that I need to accomplish in a short amount of time. I need y'all to understand that I'm not mad at anybody. You just got to let them know and be open and honest with them. Because when you go off the mat, you know, and not say nothing to family, it's gonna be like, dang, what's going on? What's happening? How can we, we could have helped you get there or whatever the case is. Just let your family know, like, you know, I, I'm seeking higher and if, and ask if they want to come along with you. But I, I just let make sure that my family know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Um, let's do it together. Let's make this a family thing. Because I think that you can definitely work together with your family, for sure. A lot of people think like, you know, that family feud, don't do business with family. But I think that it's a good thing to do business with family. You know what I mean? And create that generational wealth together. But just being open and honest with them and letting them know, like, like I said, what you doing? You know, and not leaving them out in the dust because you don't want to make it to the top without your family. You know what I mean? And, and that's, that's what you're doing it for. You know what I mean? I know for myself, like, you know, I'm building this up for my family, for me to spend more time with them, for me to be able to travel with them. So I, I want them to know what I'm doing. Like those late nights that I'm, uh, you know, having to spend, those, those early mornings I'm having to wake up. Like right now, if we're going to just be totally transparent, because I just like to be that way. Um, <laughs> yeah. My daughter, <laughs> right? Like I told you earlier, like um, 70 days, I'm planning on walking away from my job. My mother, though, has my six-year-old daughter for the past, like, over a month. And that's been very, that's a huge sacrifice, you know what I mean? To be away from my daughter for that long. So having that family connection right there alone, that my mom's able to watch her while I go pursue my greatness is, mm -hmm. is amazing to me. So, man, let your family know. Let them know what's, what's happening. When you, when you go on to be unstoppable, like, I, I hate that my daughter got to be away from me, but I know that the bigger picture is there, right? 70 days, I know that we're going to be able to do whatever we want to do. 
right? That's what it's all about. How do you feel about this, Isis? What's your thoughts on it? Sheesh. <laughs> this, this, whoever made up this question, this was a good question. It is a good one. Because we see it every day, and I know, so you, I know you see it every day. Um, yes. You know, I, I've, I've come across people who, you know, super pumped up about their goals. I mean, their, their whys sound strong. However, outside avitations come in where it's, um, well, I'm a mom, you don't understand, I'm a single mother. And I really think at this point, and we will talk about this in our next slide, we gotta start really riding the single mother clutch. It's a clutch. That might need to be, you know what, that might need to be a whole nother video, Pam. That's, that's gonna be another video. That's yes. a video. <laughs> a whole nother one. We have to stop that because, um, and I'm gonna bring it back, I know I kind of feared, but I say this mm -hmm. to say that, um, so with that being said, you, you have to know that you also got to lean on your family. I wanted to piggyback and say you can lean on your family. Now, maybe sometimes you don't have that community. Then you have to start surrounding yourself around people that have the same goals like you. And like she said, sometimes we do our family more harm than good. This is where I veered off. Sometimes we use the excuse, I'm a single mother, so I can't do this because my kids, right? Yeah. Get creative with your resources like Pam did. Maybe you may not have a mother to do it, but maybe you can find some other creative ways. But at the end of the day, you're going to be helping your loved ones even more because you're going to be putting yourself in a financial situation that's going to set not only them up, but their generation and the generation, the generation to come. So we can't just be selfish and kind of look at the now like Pam's doing. She's tunnel, tunnel 70 days from now. She's getting it in because she know after them 70 days, things is going to be laid out. So there's no true balance. Nothing's balanced. You have to find your balance. So get a little unbalanced to bring the harmony to your family. <laughs> I love it. I love yes. it. We got to yes. get comfortable being uncomfortable sometimes. So true. And that part, right? That part. Right. I, got, I got about two more questions. I know you got uh, tons of other uh, people you got to help here soon. But really quick, these two questions I really wanted you to help us with. So the, the last one, I mean, the one before the last is, do you think that you should choose another partner that wants to grow and build a legacy? Now, I know I said something earlier, but <laughs> let's, be, let's be real right now, Pam. Let's be real. We go, we go, I got to give it to you real because this is so funny, though. This is a great question. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to my sister about this last night, this oh, wow. conversation. Like, you, you got to find somebody who want it like you. I'm sorry. Like, it, for example, right, I, I, I'm I going to just use myself. Like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm one of those people. I'm ready to go get it, right? I, I'm ready to go get it, period. So I, I cannot date a guy that is just have a casual approach about women. You know what I mean? I, I just I just can't. Like, you know what I mean? You got to be on your road to success, too. Now, I know people are like, oh, dang, you ain't, you ain't going to talk to a guy that's on their way or whatever. No, that's cool, but let me see that you're on your way, though. Don't yes. say you're on your way and you ain't got nothing going on. you just over there saying you want to wait. I want to be able to visually see that you, you or I see that you got, you're traveling somewhere, right? You're moving. You're not just talking. You're moving, though. I can work with that. But to me, I, I feel like y'all should be equally yoked. Okay? Y'all should be like, on the same page, had the same vision, had the same drive, or it's not, to me, it's not going to really work. You know what I mean? Like, had that same pathway. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> but I, 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 I pick another partner, and then sometimes you got those partners where it's like, in the beginning, they, they all for it, and then they kind of decline a little bit. Mm. That's, that might be a little another That pull back. That pull back. They don't go back up. <laughs> That pullback, you like, hold on, wait a minute. You was climbing, you was climbing for, for the heights at first. Now you just took a left turn, hold on, wait a minute. But um, I, I think if you guys are staying, you know, inspired and motivated together and, and there's that vision there from the start, I think that it's kind of hard to pull back at that point. You know what I mean? If we're both inspiring each other to go, you know, to go be better. No, that, that's what I feel about it. But <laughs> what you what you think? What's your thoughts on that one? Now, girl, I don't want to get too deep on this one because I don't. I was trying. I I see you was trying to dim it down. You was. I was, was trying. <laughs> I was trying to stay at the surface without going too hard. But uh. yes, yes. So I'll, I'll 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 do it like this by sharing my experience. That's how I do because I know we're gonna give it to him on this next one. So oh, basically, yeah. if I can share a little bit of my experience, you know, I just recently got out of a relationship. And it wasn't that the relationship was like, 
I don't like to say bad or good, but we didn't have any like problems. I would say very harmonious, laugh, talk. It was really cool, right? Mm -hmm. But one thing that Bob Proctor said is fun is cute, but where does it go beyond fun? Talk about it. So <laughs> what I was noticing is my drive was way different. And so by my drive being different, I guess in a sense, I became maybe naggy or like that person felt like, well, you just want me to move at your pace. I'm doing stuff, but you just want me to move at your pace. And it really had nothing to do about my pace. It had like what you said, let me see you working on your vision, but working on it. Like right. some results is happening. Right. I feel like sometimes we see people's potential and we just keep seeing it. We can see it and it's there. But you can keep seeing it and maybe they don't see it. And mm. so by them not seeing it, you just waiting for it to abracadabra. But question mm. is, how long do you actually wait? And so for me, it was about three years. And I feel like, okay, now I know love is about sacrifice. I know it's about, you know, all kinds of stuff. I knew it. And, and I think that's what had me in it for a while because I was like, yes, I know love is like this. Person mm. got to grow. We all growing. But it was a point where I was like, okay, now. Now, some stuff is still kind of same. And it was <laughs> being the same. And the moment that I harmoniously let that relationship go, because I, I still love this person to the day. They're a very right. good person. And I just feel like whenever the time is alignment, it may come back around where both drives are the same. But when I released that relationship, my business exploded. Yes, absolutely. It exploded. Uh, <laughs> like get up like my relationship yeah. exploded when I released certain people in my community that really didn't need to be there my team yeah. my community exploded so I'll wrap it up with this and I'll give you the last question letting go of people may be the hardest thing but the best thing for you because on the other side of that resistance of you trying to hold on to them is everything that you've been wanting to manifest in your reality <laughs> i love that i love how you wrap that up no that's real that's so true that's so true you can't let nobody hinder you back you know yeah i feel you on that. and real quick before you go to that next question okay. when you had mentioned like you know after you let that go and moved on your business exploded that happened to me as well like wow. that dead weight sometimes be weighing us down a lot of the times and letting it go for me after i let that person go the same thing happened for me we can't be scared to let people go so that we can grow and also too they get a chance for you for themselves to see you shining and growing like dang like maybe they can self-reflect after they see you you know out there and either you know if the time and you know things allow it y'all may be back together or not but at least you know what i'm saying you let it go to get yourself a chance and they you know able to level up themselves so it'd be like that sometimes yeah it'd be like that so true so true and just to piggyback just a little bit more for that next question since getting at it i feel like it's also like you said beneficial for that other person because sometimes we become enablers and yes. we're really hindering people's growth because we're not letting go but yes. the moment that you let go not only are you exploding they should explode in ways themselves especially if they take a that's a transmutation which we'll talk about uh, we got a, me and PM got a couple things lined up for y'all. I can't wait. <laughs> got a couple things lined up for y'all, but that's where that transmutation comes from by taking that breakup, that 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 love, that hate, that all of that, and and transmutating it. So I got one more question for you, Pam. Um, oh my gosh, hold on, it was in my phone. Um, what was that last question? Here it goes. So. The last question, Pam, is what should your environment look like on the road to success? And uh, what kind of like people and things should you watch? Yes. So I actually got a few books right here next to me. Like your, your surroundings, your environment should look like success. You know what I mean? So I got, you got this book yet? I got the audio <laughs> SoundCloud. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Like, um, it should look like David. It should look like people who are at the level of success that you want to be on. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I have books around me. You know what I mean? Like I got books around me everywhere, like all types, of, <laughs> just all types of personal development. Um, just 
all around my place. Like I got note cards everywhere, different posters, just talking about, you know, inspiration and positivity. And um, also the people, the people should be people that you inspire to be like. People that are also going to go get it, the hustlers, you know what I mean? The movers and the shakers. You know what I mean? Those are the people that you know we should be surrounded by. People that have that high energy, that drive, that excitement. Because I'm telling you, like, when I'm around other people, and it's also seeing you online, too, I'm like, she out here going to get it. Like, she is not playing. And I and you feed off of that energy. you like, oh, yeah. But you know you got to get with people to make you want to step your game up. All right? Be that person. Another thing, too, that should be around you is a planner. Have a planner around you. You know what I mean? Keep that thing on you. Live inside that planner. Plan and schedule out your days. Because if you a boss like Isis and myself, you got to have that planner. You got to have your days right, knowing what you're going to be doing. Because we get so tired, of right? And so busy with everything that we can't remember all that stuff. So have your environment looking like what you actually picture it to be. And it's going to actually become that, right? And personal development, listening to David E. Monitier, um, I listen to Eric Thomas, um, Bob Proctor, Jim Rohn, all of those people. Go on to YouTube. I'm constantly having something in my ear that's going to remind me of my goals, right? Do what you got to do, like, but definitely, definitely have some positivity always surrounding you. What you got going on over there? Because I saw you got it. What you got going on over there? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go get my books. <laughs> I like what you got. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. See, see, bosses hang with each other. They got the same minds. Because me and Pam got some of the same books. Right? Why? Yeah. Because we're becoming the greatest leaders that we are supposed to. Right? Because we know... There's a science to getting rich. We know that you were born rich. You guys, here's the thing, and I did a video on it yesterday. I spoke about you got to be holistically balanced, spiritually, mentally, physically. Some of us just got the, uh, the spiritually. We may not got the physical. Then we may not got the mental. You got to have all of them. And reading stuff like this and cultivating and listening to people that have already did it, see, Bob Parker says something, Pam, and I know you know it because you study it. He says, it's so simple <laughs> that we can miss it. And success is so simple that we miss it with our egos. Why mm. do I need to read books? I don't need to read books. Why do I need to watch, listen? And especially just for my black people. I, why do I need to watch that white man? He, he, he can't help me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel stuck in that mentality. It doesn't matter about the messenger. Listen to the message because the message is the same all across the board, whatever color, nationality, or creed. And the people that speak in the message has the results. Absolutely. So we can't listen to Samantha, Ray Ray, and, and, and Keisha around us. They don't got the results we want. Now, if Ray Ray and Keisha is like how Pam said, you can see them doing something different, then okay, y'all can feed off each other. But if you don't see them doing nothing and they sitting there trying to tell you advice, you're setting yourself up. You got to, you got to cut it, cut it, <laughs> cut it, cut it. Right. <laughs> For real. For real. For real. So, so just two more things to piggyback the books, but also let me tell you guys, and I shared this with you. I haven't had a TV in 10 years. I finally buckled down and got a TV about last month. Do you know what's on my TV? Before I got on the phone with y'all, I was studying about the cash of society, how society is all, some places don't even have cash. So on my TV, it's straight up visualizations of houses and yachts and cars and different things that I want. Is Because if you want a big house, but you don't know how a big house look, how you want a big house? You don't even know how a big house look. You getting used to, like my apartment, I can't look around in my apartment and, and kind of like see, see. I have to look at this TV that, and then it's going to help my vision. So when I do look at my, my kitchen, I'm seeing a different kitchen. I don't even see that kitchen that's in there. I see right. the kitchen that's been on that TV screen that I keep engraving in my subconscious mind. So like Pam says, surround yourself around people who's doing it. And when you do it, you shouldn't do it off of ego. You shouldn't do it out of competition. Like, oh man, she doing this. Damn, he doing that. Because you got to have that self-power to know what well, shit. My sister's out there doing it. My brother's like, shit, I know I can too. Exactly. Let me, let me see what they doing. Let me take some of their seasoning and right. put it in my meal with my seasoning. <laughs> Let me take some right. seasoning from David and let me make this dope A meal, dope ass meal, 
that's going to help the benefit of everybody. So I can get real deep. I was getting very passionate. But bam, in closing, is there anything that you want to share before we end this live today? I just want to say, like, success leaves clues always like surround yourself around people who you inspire to be like your environment is what is going to to drive you it's going to remind you of your goals make sure you have signs and, and, and visions everywhere so that you're constantly reminded uh put sticky notes around your walls i got them in my mirrors everywhere do that and i'm always walking past them in the mirror and i'm like yes powerful you know just different things like just remember that you are amazing and like you're great there's nothing that you can't do and like you said i says if other people are doing it don't be in competition with them. There's plenty, there's an abundance out here for all of us. Go get yours. There's something that, there's something that's signed to you specifically. What is it? Let us see that, bring that out, be unique, right? And so I just want to say like, lastly, just thank you for, you know, just reaching out to me and having me come on and speak to your, your people. Thank you guys, uh, all of you that's on here that's going to get a chance to, to watch this. And I'm, I'm just super excited about the rest of this year. Um, don't let this year get you down. You know, we got, a, we got a whole elephant in the room, this craziness going on out here, you know, all in the world. But don't let that stuff stop you. Like, stay with it. Stay with your goals. Keep your eyes on the prize and uh, go be great. Thank you so much. That's all I had to say. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Pam wrapped it up uh, for me. I don't really have any last words. But one thing, Pam, where can people find you on Instagram and Facebook? Yeah, so you guys can follow me on uh, Facebook at Pamela Heard, that's H-E-A-R-D. And then on IG, I am Queen Talk Life on IG. And I would definitely accept your friend request. So yeah, looking forward to it. You heard? <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> <laughs> All right, family, stay tuned. Me and Pam is going to be dropping a dope flyer. This next one is going to be for the ladies. And it's going to hit. Ooh, it's going to hit. So y'all going to hit. It's going to hit head. So mm -hmm. y'all make sure to tune in for that. Make sure you go hit the follow buttons on our page. By you hitting the follow buttons on our page, you're not going to miss out on any videos that we do. There's going to be a special notification that pops up to let you know when all of our lives are. You don't want to miss out on that. All right, you guys. Have a fantastic Saturday. Peace and love. Okay, I stopped the screaming. It's just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome yeah yeah no it really, it really was like it was lit <laughs> yeah that was amazing there was a topic that popped up and i was like maybe we should do it about that do you remember <laughs> no <laughs> oh my god it was deep it was deep. we gonna have to go back to it hey oh, so yeah. when I, I, got, I think i might have to go to your page and share it let me see oh you wasn't doing a watch party dang it yeah, you were supposed to do the watch party on your phone. So while we was talking, it was live on yours. Oh, my gosh. So it wasn't even live on there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just share it then. Yeah, yeah. That's how you got to do it. That's what, yeah. I'm going to just share, yeah. I got to figure this whole live stuff out. But we about to do some uh, good work, though. This next one is about to be freaking crazy. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, I it can't was wait. something. I got the recording. I'm going to have to play it back. It was a part. I was like, oh. It was, it was something. It was something. Yeah, we definitely got to uh, play that bag. Okay. Well, I'll have the recording for you. I'll send it to you in the next couple of days. I know you got another call. I actually got another call myself. That was okay. Secret. And, um, yeah, you'll have the pictures. We'll get the flyer going. Yes. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to send it to you ASAP, so as soon as I get it. All right, Miss Pam, take care. All right, you too. All right, peace. All right.